60% uh, of Nairobi's population of 4 million live in the informal settlements. We call, we call them people settlements. Devoid of basic urban services. That is not news. The majority of this population are adversely affected by the rising food prices, bad governance, and corruption. That is a, a disaster, and that is not news. What is news is that this 60% is to a population of 2.4 million of Nairobi's population. If you calculate that every individual generates 300 grams of human waste, we have in total, every day in Nairobi, 720,000 kilograms of shit. <laughs> Not to mention the shit of yesterday and yesterday but one. <laughs> Goes into millions of kilograms. It has been said that if you are to ban open defecation in Nairobi and every individual in the informal settlements would queue, they would queue for two days to access a toilet. That is the image. I was privileged to live in Kibera when I was a teenager. That is the image and that is the experience. We have worked in partnership with others, not just the Monday Trust, we work with Oxfam, we work with the Government of Kenya, Earthy Water Services Board, we work with the UN Habitat, Halkro Foundation UK to engage communities to look at how we can design alternative sanitation solutions. So we engage women, we engage the youth, we have participatory design sessions. And you can see one of the prototypes, because we are going away from the basic toilets, one of the products that we are basically selling is what we call a biocenter. Storied buildings, you can see the industry underground, that's the biodigester where the human investment goes in. <laughs> but for us, we want to convert human investment into biogas, so that we can also tackle the energy crisis. So the ground floor, you have bathrooms, you have toilets, for the children, for the women, for the girls and the boys. Upstairs, we have space there which can be used for rental, which can be used for other facilities. These are peace centers, they are democracy centers, they are income generating centers. And many of them, because we have 52 such facilities in Nairobi, many of them are also uh, stadiums. We have the Old Trafford stadiums in many of them. We are trying to work on designs where we can also trap uh, solar panels. And currently, we are also trying to see how we can link the biodigesters with existing toilets so that we are not reinventing the wheel. Currently, we are also working on modalities on how we can convert the bioslurry into fertilizer so that we can contribute to urban greening. So we have uh, buffer reactors, we're working with engineers from Denmark, engineers from Netherlands, to see how we can recycle the water so that the water is used to flush toilets. That is uh, people at work, women and men, working on the industry, the biodigester. The, the biodigester coming out. Now that is one example, the one my friend Ab Abdullahi has quoted. This biocenter is called Stara Biocenter. It is managed by women who run an orphan school three kilometers away in Kibera. The school is called Stara. Now, you can see the bottom, you have the toilets. It is one of the best biocenters types of biogas utilization. They use biogas from 5 a.m. to 6 for hot showers. It's in a public place. So if you want hot shower in Kibera, go to Stara. <laughs> the, the first floor is, is let out for Kitua Shasharia for legal advice center. And they have upper floor for community meetings. Every month, these women earn 45,000 Kenya shillings, which they use to feed the children and the orphans who are HIV positive. <laughs> we have another example in Korogosho, to Wezompia. Uh, Four years ago, these were criminals being hunted by police and under the guise of being called Mungiki. We went to them and told them, look, can we work together to work on sanitation? Now they are providing sanitation services to 300 users a day earning income, they have bought a pickup, and even the police who are on the beat go there for a call of nature. 
We have one in uh, Mukuru. It's called Mukuru Environment, a partnership with Oxfam. This one, recently there were evictions in Mukuru. The, it, it provided a center for the internally displaced persons upstairs in Mukuru. We are working in Kibagari, and you can see how they are mapped. That is serving Korogosho. You can see the blue, serving Kibera. You can see serving Mukuru. We are expanding and in partnership with others. Biogas at work, converting human waste into biogas. We are now working with a, a, a private sector company from Thailand to see how we can bag the biogas for supply both within the settlements and in middle and high income, income areas. I'll call upon you to place your orders. <laughs> in conclusion, we have made it. We have managed together in the 52 biocenters to at least contain 60,000 kilograms of sheets. <laughs> I, I want to welcome you to join us in this new page to make sure Nairobi, this world-class city, becomes an open, defecation-free city. Thank you very much. <laughs>